This machine is a lathe machine used to perform facing, turning, taper turning, profile turning, parting, threading, drilling, boring, and slotting etc. At the left side of the machine, we have the head stop. Two types of transmission systems are used to transmit power from the electric motor to the spindle, and this one is the belt and step pulley system. Lathe machines discussed in this video, these are the engine lathes. Lathe machines with belt and step pulley power transmission systems, they are the low cost lathe machines. Other type of power transmission system is the gear transmission system. This lathe machine is also the engine lathe and in this lathe machine the power transmission system is the gear type system used to transmit the power from the electric motor to the hollow shaft known as the spindle. And the hollow shaft known as the spindle rotated and supported by this gear system has a nose and all types of work holding devices are attached to the spindle nose. The work holding devices include the chucks, collets, face plates and the dogs. Other types of lathes are the two room lathe, speed lathe and the turret lathe. Here the work holding device is the chuck. It's a three jaws chuck. Also we can have two jaws, four jaws and six jaws chucks. This three jaws chuck will hold the work piece and the work piece will rotate along with this three jaws chuck. These chucks can be universal or they can be independent. In universal chucks, all jaws move simultaneously whereas in the case of independent checks the jaws can be moved independently another part of the lathe machine is the carriage used to feed the tool parallel to the axis of rotation this hand wheel is used to move the carriage carriage can be moved towards left or towards the right of the lathe machine then the cross slide is used to feed in a direction perpendicular to the movement of the carriage and this hand wheel is used to move the cross slide. Cross slide is basically associated with the depth of cut. And this part of the lathe machine is known as the compound rest, used for the taper turning. It's used for the taper turning and in taper turning, the feed is given with the help of this wheel, not with the help of carriage wheel. And this gauge on the compound rest is used to set the taper angle. Another part of the lathe machine is the tool post used to hold the cutting tool. Single point cutting tools are positioned and clamped with the help of this tool post. And this tool post along with the single point cutting tools moves perpendicular to the axis of rotation with the help of a cross slide. The cross slide movement is used in the case of facing, form turning and cut off. Then here we have the lead screw and feed rod. This lead screw is a thread rod which drives the carriage. It also moves the carriage automatically in the case of thread cutting. Then another part is the feed rod. This feed rod advances the carriage for turning operations when the automatic feed lever is engaged. Then there are ways that tracks onto the lathe machines. There are two types of ways that tracks the outer ways and the inner ways. The outer ways or the outer tracks are used for the movement of the carriage, whereas the inner ways or the inner tracks are used for the movement of the tailstock. So here we have shown the outer tracks and you can see the carriage is fixed with the outer tracks or the outer ways. The carriage will move along these ways. The outer and inner ways are fabricated onto the bed of the lathe machine. Now these are the inner ways which are used for the movement of the tailstock. The tailstock is another part of the lathe machine. Tailstock provides help to center the cutting tool with respect to the rotating workpiece. Tailstock also provides help to hold the work pieces which have uh, larger length to diameter ratios. These tail stocks support the work piece with the help of uh, centers. The center of the tail stock can be dead or live. If the center is rotating, it's known as the live center and if the center does not rotate, 
with the work piece it's known as the dead center so this uh, tail stroke center is live because it's rotating and this tail stroke center has a cone shaped point which is inserted into a tapered hole in the end of the work piece basically the lathe machines are designed to fabricate to process the cylindrical jobs cylindrical work pieces here we have various settings and combinations to perform the turning operations and to perform the threading operations and we will adjust the positions of these levers according to the speed and feed used into the turning and according to the type of threads fabricated into the cylindrical work parts and the information about the positions of these levers is available in above tables and this one is the manual oil pump used for the lubrication of the various parts the various portions of the lathe machine 